Look at that picture. It's beautiful. The space shuttle just rocketing off from Cape Canaveral. I sometimes feel sorry for a lot of young people today who will never have the opportunity to see that beautiful thing rocket off into the sky. Hi everyone, WFS here, your doctor. Today I want to talk to you about Star Trek Picard Season 3. Yes, Season 3, the final season which some Star Trek fans are really praying is the final season. It's been a rough ride. It definitely has been a rough ride between season one, we get to witness Picard dying and the synthetic body taking over his place. Season two, where the synthetic Picard learns how to find love again. And now in season three, uh, Terry Matliff has promised us that the rest of the generation cast will be on board for what he says a proper send-off. Not exactly sure what that means, although latest information out says that Riker is going to be his comic self, and he's also going to be a little bit, a little like Picard, more authoritative in his command, and Worf, well. They didn't go into full detail about Worf, except for the fact that it's been, what, 20 years or so since, no, I think it's more like 30 years since we saw him last on Deep Space Nine. Um, not exactly sure what to make, because there's really not much coming out about it, except, oh, well... We're going to be seeing the Enterprise D again. And I've covered a little bit of this in one of my previous videos. I'm not exactly sure how much more I can say about it, except for the fact that I'm not exactly excited about this new season. And it's basically because we've been so dragged and kicked through the mud over this last stuff. Again, season one and two of Picard were... Terrible. They, season two is definitely a, better than one, but for the most part, they weren't good at all. Um, then we have Star Trek Strange New Worlds, which from what I understand now, was supposed to be bringing Paramount investors back over, and it was also supposed to be bringing their stock back up. It's not going as well as they hoped it would. Um... And for my opinion, it's not bad. Now, if you're a person like me who wants to respect the timeline, because this is what they're saying about uh, Strange New Worlds. It's supposed to be the Enterprise crew 10 years before Kirk and Spock. It's uh, Pike and Spock. So if it's supposed to be 10 years prior, then doesn't that mean they have to respect their history? Doesn't it mean that the timeline has to be secure? I may be overanalyzing this, and I'm, you know, I've got people telling me I need to give them a little leeway here. But when you have solid fans like myself who absolutely love the franchise, and then we see what we got in Discovery, and then Picard, and unfortunately, Lower Decks. I mean, look. I, I, I guess I can't really count Lower Decks, really, because that's supposed to be like a comic thing right there. It's supposed to be making fun of things, and I've watched a few of them. that They're okay. Um, the one thing that I am very curious about is the Cisco angle, because I hear that he's coming back for this, for this season, and to me, that character is very important. I honestly enjoyed starting in the third season, Deep Space Nine, more than I did The Next Generation. I became quite a fan of that show. And I really would like to see what happened to these characters, especially Cisco, because he was the Emissary of the Prophets. He was also um, captain of the fleet. No, no, my apologies. He was um, 
Oh my God, forgive me, I'm drawing a blank all of a sudden. He got married. He, his wife got pregnant. And before they can, he can even see his kid, he has a battle with Dukat in the fire caves. Dukat falls to his death, I guess burnt to death. Well, actually, he didn't burn to death. He got trapped in the caves with the Parafes. While at the same time, Cisco was rescued by the prophets. And when he came back to Cassidy, he told her that I may come back tomorrow, a year from now, or yesterday. So apparently, he's coming back 30 years later. And I think I brought this part up before. They were talking about a con like villain in this episode. Or the season, excuse me. Um, and everyone's speculating that it could be Picard's son because of him and Beverly apparently had, still have some kind of a history together. But I'm wondering if that angle, and I've again, I have said this before, I wonder if that angle is more like Cisco because he's part God and Cassidy has his kid. We don't know what sex the kid is. Could it be the girl? Could it be the villain of this, of this series? And Cisco's got to come back and do some fixing. It's a, it's an interesting thought, but I'm just curious out there, how many of you are really interested in seeing Picard Season 3? What are you hoping to get out of it? Or are you even going to watch? I am, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of stuck in the middle on this one because Paramount Plus, holding off on Picard for a moment, Paramount Plus really hasn't done a lot for me i've gone through a lot of the movies and there's not much there that holds my interest and i'm just wondering if paying for another year of subscription is worth it considering what i have got so far out of the star trek franchise and on that note i've heard stories that kurtzman is really not on the Picard pro project anymore. In fact, there are stories that he may not really be that involved with Star Trek at all anymore. And there's no guarantee that we're going to get any more of them. The fiasco from the fans, the, all, the, all the outrage that we have given Paramount over the years, the investors may be starting to question, question Bad Robot and Kurtzman and J.J. Abrams it's just been a disaster for a franchise that used to be a moneymaker left and right. No toys. I don't think I've even seen a comic book out in a long time. So it's just really, is this the last run for Star Trek? I mean, for how many years now have we heard Star Trek 4 is coming out? Star Trek 4 this year, this year, this year. No year, nothing. So, I, again, I really would like to know what your opinion is on this, because, again, to me, Star Trek was just so memorable. So, I love it. I drove my family crazy over it. And every time a new upgrade came, comes along on the 4K, Blu-ray, I'm there. But when it comes to Picard and all this, all this new stuff, I'm not excited. Well, my friends, I'm going to end this video, but again, I really would like to know what you think about it. Leave your comments below, and if you like what I have to say, please subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you on the flip side. Live long and prosper.